الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أهبة في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم Indeed, they used to hasten to good deeds and supplicate to us in hope, ragaba, and fear, rahaban. And verily, for us, they were of the khashi'in. They were of those who feared, had fear. Ahabatifillah, this ayah in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us the importance of two important precepts of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah regarding ibadah, regarding worship. And that is the believer is between hope and fear. The believer is between hope and fear. Because that was the way of the NBA, that was the way of the messengers, alayhim afdal salatu was salam, is that they had hope for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hope for his rahmah, and hope for his forgiveness, and hope regarding the acceptance of their good. And at the same time, they feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment. They also feared the torment of the fire. So the mu'mineen, they act in accordance with that. They have both. They have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the fear of His punishment, the fear of transgressing bounds, the fear of doing those things which displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and likewise, and likewise, they fear the torment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They fear the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they hope for His mercy at the same time. This is the balance that Islam calls us to. That we should not be imbalanced as some of the early sects in Islam tended to be. For example, the Murjia, those people with belief that Iman is not affected by your deeds, meaning deeds are not a part of Iman, then of course they believe and having just pure hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is khair, except you have to fear His punishment as well. You have to have not just hope for His mercy, but at the same time, you actually have to act in fear His punishment. So for the murjia, they just do sins, commit sins and faults and mistakes, and evil and just say Allah Allahu Ghafur Rahim or Allah Allah Kareem. They say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most forgiving, most merciful. Hada Sahih. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most generous. He is Kareem. And that's true. However, they depend on that only. So that means they commit sins constantly without hesitation because they don't believe that their deeds will be affected by those sins. So the one who commits uh, adultery, for example, <clears throat> and constantly doing this sin, and they just say that Allah is the most merciful, Allah is uh, off forgiving, Allah is the most generous, and that's true. But yet that will not alter their behavior because they will only rely and depend upon the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without taking steps to leave the sin. 
So that is a mistake. The other group that deviated regarding this concept is the Khawarij, the dogs of the hellfire, the people of Takfir. And in their extremism, the scholars, the classical scholars of the Salaf, they referred to them as the Wa'idiya, the, the people who only depend upon the threat of punishment. That's all, that's all they do. So for them, they're only in constant fear. And it caused them in their creed to go to the extent of where they believe no, that you do a sin and you uh, a major sin and you're a disbeliever. And they are in a state of despair regarding sin. It's just over. So that can paralyze you and coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, likewise, make you have a false aqidah or creed in which you believe that, er, that you know, you, you begin to negate the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why they believe the major sinners were in the hellfire forever. So for example, the one who drinks wine or alcohol or what have you, that they're going to be punished in the hellfire forever. This is their belief. But that's not correct as well. So you can see how the, the, the polemics and the, the arguments between the sects caused them to deviate into creed. So that not only did they differ, but they fled from one bid'ah to another. It tended to be from one type of extremism to another type. So from going from the Khawarij who made takfir of the people and really live a life where there is only despair that they flee and fleeing from that they go to the extent of the other extreme they go to become murjia to where they begin to negate uh, that one is even un uh, that is that one is uh, able to even leave the fold of Islam except only if they openly declare it or only if they uh, you know refuse Islam or make it make things uh, permissible but in fact there are many ways a person can disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it's very important that we correct our aqidah our ittiqad and that we understand that the mu'min in accordance with the ittiqad of Ahl sunnah is that the mu'min is in between hope and fear. Hoping for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without despairing and without being in total fear to where they're paralyzed or that they negate the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, not negating the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does have punishment and does uh, will call us to account for our sins. And we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, accepts our good and forgives our evil and blesses us with ikhlas, with thabat, and blesses us with ilm, ilm al nafi' wa rizqan tayyibah, wa amalan mutakabbilan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.